Hi, dear players! Welcome to my Eggy Workshop tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll learn about continuous motion. We'll be covering three sections. 1. Effect of enabling return after arrival. 2. Stop after arrival and stop after return. 3. Effect of stops after. Let's start by adding a motor to a component and enabling continuous motion. We can see the return after arrival switch. With motion duration one way set to two by default. Let's turn it on and set a value to linear velocity in one direction to observe its movements. As you can see, the component will move in the selected direction for two seconds and then return in the opposite direction at the same linear velocity. Let's disable the return after arrival switch without changing any of the other settings. Now, watch closely. That's right, the component will continue to move in the same direction even after 2 seconds, without setting a delay time after arrival. It will just keep moving in a linear motion. Next, let's talk about stop after arrival and stop after return. Start by setting both delay time after arrival and delay time after return to 2 seconds. Now, watch how it moves. After the component reaches its destination, it will pause for 2 seconds and then return to its original starting point. It will pause again for the same duration and start the next full movement cycle. Please note, if you want to set delay time after arrival and delay time after return to different values, you should set delay time after arrival first and then delay time after return in that order. Lastly, let's talk about how stops after affects the movement. As shown in the video, the motion duration one way is set to 2 seconds, with delay time after arrival and after return, set to 3 seconds and 1 second respectively. Completing a full cycle of continuous motion will take 8 seconds. If you set motor stops after to a value between 0 and 8 seconds, a full cycle of continuous motion will not be possible. If you want to set continuous motion to loop, setting motor stops after to 99,999 or minus 1 will do the trick. To have the component move for a certain time and then stop at a specific location, you need to figure out how long it takes to finish a full cycle then add the time required for end cycles. Let's review what we've learned today one more time. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Did you get everything? Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what else you'd like to learn. See ya next time.